giant TCR, 8.3 kilos, size small. Damn it. 8.3 kilos, translated to pounds. Someone in the comments, thank you. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. And today I have for you guys the 2022 giant TCR Advanced Disc Plus One Plus PC. It's a mouthful to say, I know it. Uh, but the retail on this bike is $3,750. And this is what Giant does best. They price bikes that are competitive. Uh, not a lot of gimmicks, not a lot of integrated cables, nothing fancy about this bike. But you get a carbon fiber frame, hydraulic disc brakes, Altegra mechanical group set, which works, carbon fiber deep dish wheels for $3,750. I mean, it's a bike that gives you a lot of bang for the buck. There are some things I don't like on the bike, which I'll go over, obviously the crank being one of them. But again, for the price point being under four grand and to get all this included in that price is actually really, really good. And also mechanical group sets. I mean, everyone, they're so underrated, but Altegra mechanical group set, you dial those things in, they are some of the best shifting group sets out there. There's no issues with them. Yes, we have a lot of cables on here, but it's a bike that's gonna function, do well. Maybe you're just getting into the sport. Uh, this bike is going to do a lot of, of riding, a lot of performance for what you're paying for. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the whole uh, bikes, what they go over, what the tire clearance is, the specs on it. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is a, starting off with a handlebar, an aluminum giant handlebar with an aluminum giant stem on here. Nothing integrated about it easily lower or raise the stem on here. Um, we have easy manipulation of the handlebars as well. If you wanna put a different handlebar in there, that's easy to do as well. We have on here giant uh, handlebar wrap as well. And then going to the front shifters, there are Tegra mechanical shifters with hydraulic disc brakes on here. So you get the benefit of a nice smooth mechanical shift that's gonna be clean. You're gonna feel it shift. You're gonna feel it actuate each time, but also you get these nice snappy hydraulic disc brakes in here. I love it. I mean, it's, 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 it's almost nostalgic at this point because everything I show is a, a electronic group set so I, I wrote i wrote on my tarmac sl6 for the longest time a mechanical altegra group set just like this and it was one of the best shifting group sets out there so very nice the bike is a full matte black color with a brushed kind of silver giant logo you have the tcr logo right there and the giant logo in the front going down to the front wheel it is a giant slr 45 centimeter i'm sorry 45 millimeter carbon fiber disc brake carbon fiber wheel um, it is a tubeless ready wheel. They actually come tubeless already. So the tire is tubeless. It's a 700 by 25 C tire that is tubeless ready. Um, oh, I'm sorry, actually tubeless already. Oh, my bad, so there's just a lot going on around me. Uh, it is a through axle bike. So we have a through axle. We have a 160 millimeter rotor in the front. But again, I think it's nice that they give you a, I'm sorry, that's actually a 42 millimeter tubeless wheel. But you can see the tubeless valves are installed. The wheel is already tubeless. Um, nice benefit. It's already set up tubeless. It's, it's going to be a bike that's going to perform really, really well. The clearance you can put on here is a 32C tire as well. So if you want to go a little bit wider, you can. If maybe you want to venture off on some, some hard packed dirt uh, gravel trails, you can as well. Uh, easy to remove, quick release uh, through axle. We have an Altegra flat mount disc brake on here uh, for the caliper. It is a 160 millimeter rotor. And then you can see we have this TCR down tube. It's what it's known for. Very skinny on the sides, but it's very flat, kind of like a, a King Cobra's head. Looks very well. They redesigned it for aerodynamics. You have the water bottle cages here. You have water bottle cages here. And you have the TCR over here. This will be obviously be a cover plate if this was uh, electronic, which you can make those upgrades later on down the road if you wanted to as well. Top tube is very skinny on the top to reduce weight. I know this bike was heavy for what it was, but again, that's kind of what the price points are with these bikes nowadays. I mean, you're getting carbon wheels. You're getting... A nice bike that does a lot um, but still it's still considered an entry-level base model bike so you're gonna have a heavier crank you're gonna have heavier carbon wheels they give you the benefit of being aerodynamic but I'm sure they're kind of heavy for what the price point is on uh, what I don't like this crank I would at least expect it to be a 105 uh, this is just a Shimano no-name base model crank this is below 105 below Tiagra actually uh, but again that's the reason why you can get it under 3750 but it's a Shimano crank 11 speed 5236 tooth chainring on here with the Altegra front derailleur as well with 11 speed KMC chain going to the rear. It's actually a 105 cassette, 1134 cassette on there. And we have the Altegra uh, rear mechanical derailleur as well. Haven't seen that wire like that in a long time. It looks really good. Uh, bottom bracket on here is going to be a press fit. Again, I'd like to see that change in the future for Giant just in general. My, I love, I actually do like Giant bikes a lot. Um, really hot take real quick. 
I hate the look of the Propel. That is just, I'm sure people are gonna hate me for that. I hate the way the stem looks on the Propel. I think it looks so stupid. I'm sorry if you own one. I can't stand the way it looks. But what I like to see from Giant, threaded bottom bracket, integrated cables on the TCR, giving it uh, an option. Don't put that stem on that you put on the Propel. Make it look nice, make it look clean, uh, and the bike will sell like hotcakes like they already do. Uh, seat post right here, integrated seat wedge to uh, make this dropper or make the seat post go up and down. Carbon fiber seat post. Uh, wheel is the same wheel as the uh, front. It is a giant 42 millimeter tubeless carbon fiber rim, the SLR2. Full carbon fiber wheel. They are a tubeless ready wheel. And also the tires that come out here are the giant, uh, I believe they call it the Course. Course 1 700 by 25C. Again, they're a tubeless tire. The wheels are come tubeless, so that's a nice feature to it. You can add a cadence sensor right there. You can see on the inside of the rear chain stay. And then going over to this side as well, we have on here a through axle for the side with the Altegra flat mount disc right here. 140 millimeter rotor in the back. And again, these are just entry level cheap Shimano rotors. They don't have to be crazy lightweight, but again, it gets all this stuff like these rotors, the crank, the 105 cassette, the KMC chain, all these little small things. Yes, they're using all their uh, integrated parts in here, but all, all these little small things are making this bike a very, very entry level price point bike. And that's what Giant does so well when you're talking about best bang for your buck and what you get. Saddle on here is going to be the Giant Approach Saddle. Looks very similar to any kind of race day saddle. Nice wide cutout for a particle flow seat. And then a nice wide uh, saddle for support as well. But overall, really nice bike. Again, this is the Giant TCR Advanced Disc 1 Plus PC. I don't know why the hell that name's so long. But 3,750 bucks. Stay tuned to the after video. We're here at Free Abai Santas on that wheel right there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. This bike is in the stock. It is a size small. I will link the store, Epic Cycle, down below. Thank you guys again so much for letting me go ahead and shoot this video on this bike. But there you guys go. If you guys are looking for an entry-level bike that does a lot, gives you a lot of bang for the buck, here's your option right here. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Here comes the Frio Bias Santas on this rear giant 42 millimeter carbon fiber wheel. One second. Ah. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.